Hello, everybody. Good Tuesday morning. Or if you're somewhere else in the world, good Tuesday evening. It's time for another conversation. Welcome back to the video. Today's title is Choose Your Friends. Choose Your Friends Wisely. Have we we've all had people in our lives that come into our to, we've all had people that come into our lives. They can either be a good friend or a bad friend in our lives. Have you chosen your friend or friends wisely? Scripture says that bad company corrupts good morals. Now, do you have friends in your life? If you do, you're, you're truly blessed. Now, for me, I don't have any friends. I have a few acquaintances, which is fine. Acquaintances are fine. But I don't really keep that many. I, don't, I really don't keep any friends to me because I'm a, I'm a loner. I'm a hermit. I like to be alone. Even when I'm at work, which I'm on the way to work now, I have co-workers, not friends. And even when I'm at work, I don't really talk to anybody. I show up, I punch my, I punch in, I do my job, I take my breaks by myself. And then I punch out, and then I go home. But let me just tell you, please be careful and wise about who you pick your friends, who your friends are to be in your life. And yes, if you hear that little ASMR on the ceiling, because it is slightly raining here, it's light drizzle. Let me know in the comment section below, how many friends do you have? Or if you have any? at all. It's okay if you don't have any friends at all, but if you do have that one friend, keep them. Keep them. And also, you do not have to tell your friend or friends everything that is going on in your life. You don't have to. Remember, your Life is for you to live. There's a lot of people out there who think that they need to tell their friends everything. When, when in all actuality, you don't have to. There's a lot of things that you do not have to tell your friends anything about. Unless you are comfortable and really confide in them to make sure that they are the best friend in the world. And even if you do tell them, I would be very cautious about that. Because you know how, you know, the Philippine term is a chismus or gossip. Now, gossip in, is, is all, over the, all over the world, not just here in America. There's no such thing as a healthy gossip. Gossip is just basically spreading a rumor that you heard from somebody else, who heard it from somebody else, who heard it from somebody else about a said person or persons that may or may not, probably about 95% of the time, is not true at all. Do you really want that friend in your life who's a gossip or gossiper? Who goes around with their antennas up, waiting for that le waiting for that bit of juicy gossip so that so that he or she can spread it at the water cooler? Here's my advice to you: Don't choose a friend who's going to be a gossip. Don't choose a friend who can be who's going to be a gossip. Make sure you choose your friend or friends wisely. And if you don't have a friend, that's fine too. That is fine too. So guys, comment down below 
who your friends are, if you have any friends, and what do you do about it. If, the, if you have those friends that are gossiping, let them go. You don't need to be around them. Guys, have a great day today. God bless. Thank you for tuning in to this video. If you haven't already, hit that like, share, subscribe button. Help me get to, to 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 subscribers on this channel. Have a great day. God bless. Re remember, you're loved by God and life is short. Make it count. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you all.